students now it's time for your accounts class and you know that we are on the chapter chapter number 3 admission of a partner so in case of admission of partner i already discussed with you number of points like how to compute new profit sharing ratio sacrificing ratio accounting treatment of goodwill and uh, our yesterday's topic is accounting treatment of accumulated profits or losses and uh, i divided that particular topic into two parts part a and part b yesterday i discussed with you general reserve reserve fund and workman compensation claim and what is workman compensation reserve so so student by continuing our previous topic yesterday's topic accounting treatment of accumulated profit and losses part b and firstly see the part a review points learning objectives yesterday we had done journal reserve reserve fund workman compensation reserve so under this i discuss with you number of points like what is accumulated profit or losses it's simply collection over a period of time then i discuss with you journal reserve it is it is a type of amount is kept separate by a company out of its profits for future purpose like after this i discuss with you profit and loss account debit balance credit balance that if credit balance simply means profit and then i discuss with you accumulated losses also in case of accumulated losses debit balance means company is in a loss in case of deferred revenue expenditure i discuss with you currently you paid the amount but benefit in near future so these all points i discussed now by continuing the same topic see the next adjustment of accumulated profit or losses that is investment fluctuation reserve so first of all know about what is investment you know that investment very common thing like you invested money okay in any security so investment fluctuation reserve is a reserve created out of profit to meet the fall in the market value of its investment so you can cover up the any fall in market value of investment with the help of investment fluctuation reserve at the time of change in profit sharing ratio on admission of a partner the accounting treatment of investment fluctuation reserve is as follows so student according to three cases we are going to calculate and adjust the investment fluctuation reserve okay firstly compare book value with the market value then only it is possible to adjust the investment fluctuation reserve amount so here three cases if book value and market value is same okay and second if market value of investment is less than its book value and third one is market value of investment is more than its book value so start with the first case when book value and market value same so with the help of one illustration one example see here are three partners ajit bikram and kanchan sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 4 ratio 3 ratio 2 decided to aditi as a new partner with effect from 1st april 2019 and extract of their balance sheet as at 31st march 2019 so see balance sheet investment fluctuation reserve 18000 investment at cost 2 lakh showing the accounting treatment of investment fluctuation reserve under the following cases five cases provided to you and first of all see the first case when so in this case when your book value and market value both same okay book value and market value same the amount of investment fluctuation reserve is transferred to old partners capital or current account in their old profit sharing ratio what is the general entry here is investment fluctuation reserve account debited to old partners in which ratio old profit sharing ratio because here see students book value market value both same then no no any fluctuation up and down in the value then how to pass this entry with the help of 
this example c investment fluctuation reserve 18000 in the balance sheet and three partners old partner ajit bikram and kanchan and their ratio you know c again one in this 4 ratio 3 ratio 2 so the old profit sharing ratio of ajit bikram and kanchan 432 then see the entry here 4 ratio 3 ratio 2 so here students 18000 reserve divided among the old partners in the old ratio 4 ratio 3 ratio 2 so here ajit share 8000 bikram 6000 and kanchan 4000 being the transfer of fluctuation reserve investment fluctuation reserve to old partners accounts in their old profit sharing ratio now the next part is if the market value of investment is less than its book value in a cases treatment of investment reserve depends upon the amount of decrease so here so under this first case is fall in value equal to investment fluctuation reserve it simply means that student no reserve available to distribute among the old partners what is the entry you just adjust the reserve amount see investment fluctuation reserve debited to investment the amount of investment fluctuation reserve is transferred to investment account and no amount is distributed among the old partner now the next case here is see students fall in the value is less than investment fluctuation reserve it means with you you are having money funds reserve to distribute among the partners so first entry here is investment fluctuation reserve then to adjust the investment book value minus market value and rest part divide among the old partners in the old ratio investment fluctuation reserves to the extent of fall in value is transferred to investment account and excess balance is distributed among the old partners in their old ratio so under same category the third method third cases fall in the value is more than investment fluctuation reserve so here your fall in value is more than reserve you are not having enough to settle so investment fluctuation reserve account debited here and the rest part difference that is debited to revaluation account to investment this one is your journal entry and the revaluation loss is divided among the old partners in the old ratio and the entry here is old partners capital current account to revaluation now the next is when market value of investment is more than its book value so here the students first entry is investment fluctuation reserve to old partners capital current account in the old ratio then how to pass this entry see your books page number 3.46 see investment fluctuation reserve 18000 and divided among the ajit bikram and kanchan in the same old profit sharing ratio 8000 6000 and 4000 so the next entry here is investment account debited to revaluation account investment brought up to the market value so here see investment account debited 18000 to revaluation means your amount here more like see investment 2 lakh 18000 and your cost of investment 2 lakh the difference is of 18000 18000 profit transfer to revaluation being the value of investment brought up to market value and investment account debited to revaluation account 18000 and the third entry here is students revaluation profits are divided among the old partners in the old ratio revaluation account to old partners capital current account see this entry also revaluation account debited to ajit's capital account to bikram's to kanchan in old profit sharing ratio and the share here is 8000 6000 and 4000 being the transfer of gain on revaluation to old partners so these all are your investment fluctuation reserve cases and now you it's time for your homework questions and solve the sums practical problem sum number 59 e to g part and also sum number 60 till 63 along with the related illustration and student must watch youtube links along with the school videos for more better understanding of the topic thank you so much